um, LCIL Radio. Um, we're a group from Mosaic Shaping Disability Services called Montage. Montage stands for different life skills, qualities and abilities all in one. The group have worked really hard over the past two months to create this new story that they're going to present to you today. It's about the changing facilities that are required in the community and the struggles that they face on a daily basis. Firstly, we have Lucy, Michelle, Salma and Jill and they're going to be discussing changing places. I cannot access the heart because there are no voices. This makes me feel sad. And I really enjoy shopping there. And like to spend the day there. My visits to Hollywood Bowl are cut short. As I cannot, as I cannot access toilet. However, there there are some facilities I can access in town and like to shop there. At the park is good in the summer. Because uh, I can spend the day outdoors. Jill has researched changing places, places facilities in major cities across the UK. When we did our research, we found that quite a lot of big cities such as Nottingham, Birmingham, Manchester, Leicester, Leeds, London, Liverpool and Bristol all had 10 changing facilities in the cities. However, when we looked at in the city centres alone, Leicester seems to be the best place out there. There was quite a lot of poor places such as Exeter, Liverpool, Bristol and Norwich only having one changing place in the, in the public for people with disabilities to use. Lucy would like people to be aware that pavements are not wide enough to access local facilities. I risk my life and my family and carers on the road due to this. Next we have Tinder and Craig. They're talking about the restrictions they face when going on holiday abroad and in the UK. I can't go on a plane because I can't travel on transfer. To, uh, transfer onto a seat. I have families in India that I will never be able to vi visit unless changes are made now. It's not just flying into the UK holidays can be hard to go on a flight have haven, haven but, but, but then and a full fountains because they do not have uh, the facilities for me. When we did some research we asked a lot of um, places such as Butlins, Pontins and Haven Holidays how they could um, access, um, how people with disabilities could access them. We found it quite shocking that Butlin said to us we will do our very best to meet these requirements but would advise that it cannot always be guaranteed. Next, Martin and Linda are going to be talking about the positives out there because there are some positives out there when people with disability want to go on holiday. Um, Centre Park, Mosaic, Harmony Home, in Perma, are the best facilities to arrange of needs. The design. Save us at the park that can, can help you join your stay. And have good 
Bob goes wheelchair access and always in the hallway behind me. This this me this chance to, to be like to be happy. I think that Haven Holly GM is best of the best of you to end this in this this move and have a good time there. Yeah. Have a good time there. I was able to move around the park a lot easier. I was given support on the side on the side. Twenty four hours a day. Martin every year goes to the Proma Holiday uh, Home, that mosaic run, which is full of disabilities and um, access for disabilities, including hoist. And here's a lovely photo of Martin, very happy on his holiday in Cromer. Uh, <laughs> next, <laughs> next we've got Goresh and Andrew. Andrew's going to be talking about how expensive equipment can be for people with disabilities. Yeah. And Goresh is going to tell you what is needed to make life a lot better for people living with a disability. Hello Elshire Red Girl, my name is Andrew Welsh, I'm cut you blind. Um, I'm going to let my computer read to you my article about equipment. Uh, uh, I use a, currently, a uh, software called Thunder, and it's going to read to me what I've written on my screen. Oh. It reads, <coughs> Hello, my name is Andrew Welsh. Many responses shown in the researches are the mo that most mobile hoists around the area are £800 or more. Who can afford that? Pay for wheelchair adaptions at home, paying for transport, people who live with disabilities don't get thought about. When you think about places like kitchens, places of entertainment, imagine a slippery floor, somebody, somebody could fall over. More Andrew. All places should have bigger door frames for wheelchairs to get through, and also for those who are blind, as visually impaired, who could get arm to arm guidance. For those who can't afford all this, it will be a struggle with their lives. Most hairdressing places have narrow doorways and steep ramps so wheelchairs cannot get through. Make sure you talk, uh, make sure you talk to an architect. There are also a need, there are needs to be bigger door frames at shops, restaurants, salons and other places. I can't go into certain shops because of the steps and no slopes to get in. Also, there is not enough push buttons to open doors for me to enter shops when I would like to, rather than having to wait for somebody to do it for me. When shopping in little stores, there is not always trolleys for wheelchairs. The list goes on. People think of... Please think of people living with a disability when building new shops, stores, restaurants and buildings. Help make a change today. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. And that's it. Well done, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well done. Well done, everybody. Thank you for that.